Me and Daniel are here. Universal Studios 25th anniversary dress park. Just got my credentials. So excited. Welcome to Durbania. I'm Durbin, and this is an all new Durbin Experiences. And I got to experience the Jurassic Park 25th anniversary celebration in Universal Studios Hollywood, right there in their theme park. Huge thank you goes out to my brother in law, Daniel, who works there. And he got me and himself some passes to go and enjoy the 25th anniversary celebration. So, Daniel, thank you so much. It was so awesome to, to get to go to Universal Studios, walk on City Walk, and see all this awesome Jurassic Park stuff. And Jurassic Park is one of my favorite movies of all time. So for a Jurassic Park nerd like myself, it was super exciting beyond belief. I mean, I just... Ugh. You know, once upon a time, I used to work on City Walk. I mean, this was a long time ago, and I worked at the Gibson Amphitheater. I used to seat people. One time, I was working during a Nickelodeon Teen Choice Awards. That was awesome. All my coworkers were like, why is this dude so starstruck? You know, they were native Californian, and me, I'm like, what do you mean, why am I starstruck? There's stars! What am I supposed to be? Treat them like normal humans? Come on. The point is, is that was really fun to have those memories come back. And then what really set the tone was walking up and down City Walk and seeing those Jurassic Park vehicles right outside the Universal Cinema. Like, that was awesome. And then you had that big Jurassic Park sign right there. So it's like, yep. Yep, because we had the tickets for the whole celebration, so we were going to see the original Jurassic Park movie played on that IMAX screen, and I was beyond excited for that. But, you know, you get there early because there's so many other things going on, and I didn't know all that was going on. And so we get on the escalator, and we're going down, and as we're descending into the lower lot, I mean, all those Jurassic Park posters on that building. It was just so amazing to see that, man. The Jurassic Park nerd in me was just rejoicing and singing and dancing it was so cool but then we get down to the bottom of the lower lot you know where the Jurassic Park ride is the mummy ride and all those things down there and as we get down there there is a stage for a panel look at that awesome stage I want that Brachiosaurus to sneeze yeah that Brachiosaurus it was just really awesome I I really not only did I want it to sneeze I wanted to take it home and I wanted to put it somewhere behind me on my set because that was just the coolest thing ever. So we're sitting there waiting for the festivities to start. So we decided, you know what, let's just get on some of the rides. But what was really cool is the people down on that lower lot that day were those that had the 25th anniversary badge, which meant no lines for the rides. So Daniel, yeah, there's literally no line. None, not at all. We're, Go ahead we're, and turn around and look. There is. This is like the best event I have ever done. I got to go on the Jurassic Park ride and it took like five seconds to get on. It was just absolutely incredible and it was a blast. So we got to go do the ride and that was awesome. And then like near the Jurassic Park ride, they had all these other Jurassic Park things going on. So we were like, what's this Jurassic Park activity center? So we stand in line to go through the activity center and then there was this. The archives. This is the, the archive line. We're gonna look at props. This is like Christmas. Behold, the rifle they tried to use in Jurassic World when they thought that's all it took to take down an IREX. What idiots! So this is from the ride, actually. Ooh. That's Baby Stag. Hello, Baby Stag. The, the pre build models that the makers would supply. Nice. All right, here's history. That's the satellite phone that went through the uh, stomach of a Spinosaurus and pooped right out. There's Dr. Alan Grant. <gasps> That's actually his hat. Or so I'm led to believe. Another of the pre built pets this one is the Parasaurus office, Perry. Hello, Perry. Elvis. <laughs> Look! It's What's-Her-Face's costume where she wore the high heels while running from dinosaurs. Including her ID badge. There is her ID. Oh, wait. I could get her name that way. Claire. How could I forget her name? Huh. Well, there's Claire's costume. Too bad the historic high heels aren't here. Do not touch. Well, now you know I want to touch. Fossil after fossil. Oh, fossil after fossil! This is like the beginning of the first Jurassic Park movie. But they're dusting. There he is, Chris Pratt, Owen, historic right there. I guess that's historic. 
Eggs. Oh, that's even better. Eggs. Yes. Oh, it's the Jurassic Park 3 eggs where Billy got everybody in trouble by capturing them and putting them in his camera bag. <gasps> oh, the Velociraptor wind chamber where, where Alan Grant blew the help signal so that the raptors left him alone. Ooh. God Creates Dinosaurs by Ian Malcolm. I need to read that book. <laughs> ah, the ball. It was just so awesome to walk through those archives, see those costume pieces, and see those props. It was absolutely amazing. But then we got into the actual activity center. And I'm telling you what, man, there were a lot of really cool things in that activity center. Can you all imagine how great this would look on my set? If I just had an entire part of my set that was this, my heart is melting with joy. Okay, that would be awesome on my set. Oh my gosh. This is creeping me out doing this angle. It does. It's going to eat me any given second now. I would be honored. You know, even though I watched an IREX rip through this thing, I still want to ride in it. I really did want to keep that raptor head, but that was really expensive. Now the sad thing about this panel is, is like, I was filming it with my cell phone, so the audio, it's not bad, but it's not the best. And you know, I'm, I'm back in the crowd with tons of heads in the way, so. And you know, I was watching it back, and the magic isn't the same. Like when you're there live and you're listening to this panel and you're listening to them talk, it's magical. When you're watching it on somebody's cell phone video, it's not as magical. So here's what I will say. It was a fantastic panel. Colin Trevorrow was up there and he was asking questions of like the original special effects people on the first movie. And it was really cool because I mean, they're talking about like the CGI versus the animatronics, but how they loved both. I think one of my favorite things they talked about, the whole scene where the T-Rex returns at the end of Jurassic Park and eats the raptors and throws them into the bones and stuff, apparently that was not in the script. And so Spielberg just sat there and he's like, you know what? We need the T-Rex. The audience wants to see the T-Rex again. Oh, he was right. That dude is a genius. And so that was kind of something they did on the fly. By on the fly, I mean like they spent 24 hours, rigged things and made things work, but it was a last minute change that wasn't in the script. And so these guys were praising all the special effects people and the animatronics people that were able to put this stuff together last minute and make a scene that is absolutely epic. So here's the other thing that was really cool. So if you've ever been to Universal Studios Hollywood, I don't know about the one in Florida, but I know for sure the one in Hollywood when you're in the Jurassic Park area, they have these puppeteers in these Velociraptor costumes with these people pretending to be trainers. And these costumes don't look like costumes. They are amazing looking. And so, so what's really cool is you can go up there and get your pictures taken with them and all kinds of cool stuff like that. Well, my brother-in-law and I, we walked away to get a milkshake. Suddenly we hear these alarms going off and all this crazy stuff. And then we just run over there and the Velociraptors escaped. It's happening, my dream. The dinosaurs are escaping. me to actually feel like I'm in Jurassic Park and the dinosaurs escaped. It was like, yes! And so then we get on the tram, the same tram in Universal you do where you go around and do the studio tour to take us out of the lower lot. It took us through a lot of the back lot and all the places where they filmed, but no real tour. And it took us through all that and then brought us back up to the Universal Cinema where we got to see uh, Jurassic Park and IMAX. And what was really cool about that is my brother-in-law and I we're walking up, we're walking past this lobby area, and I look, and there's Colin Tre Trevorrow. Okay, so that video is terrible, because every time I try to show Colin Trevorrow behind me, I put the camera right on my head, so my head blocked him, so you can kind of see in that still blurred shot, Colin Trevorrow, director of Jurassic World, is right there. Yeah, see, I didn't want to freak the guy out and walk over there with the camera on, because I was thinking of you guys, and I wanted you guys to see me meet Colin Trevorrow, but I also don't want to walk up to a famous director and be like, hey man, you're on my YouTube channel, what's up? No, I didn't want to do that, like, that felt weird. 
So I turned off my camera, but I did. I was like, if I don't walk up to this guy, I'm gonna kick myself. So I did. I walked right up to Colin Trevorrow. I shook the man's hand. I told him I really liked Jurassic World and it brought the magic back uh, to the Jurassic Park franchise. And he thanked me and he goes, and I, I heard that like this movie you're about to see Jurassic Park, I heard it's good. You might want to go in there and check it out. He might have been trying to get rid of me in a very nice way, but I will say it was very nice. I enjoyed meeting the guy. I found him to be a super nice guy, even for the short time that we talked. I just found him to be a really, really nice guy. And I've never shaken the hand of a famous director before so it was just really cool to shake his hand and then like he was down to earth to me like I really he just was nice he joked with me and I just went to theater and I just went I just met Colin Trevorrow I met a director of a Jurassic Park movie and then he walked into the theater and surprised us all and played for us the first five minutes of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom so my review of the first five minutes of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom spoiler free is thus it's awesome I cannot wait to see the rest of this epic movie. That's my review. So I'm looking forward to it. So this 25th anniversary was amazing. Thank you again to my brother-in-law, Daniel, for the tickets. So we got to go and explore Jurassic Park and be a part of the 25th anniversary. You can't go to Universal Studios and not get some souvenirs. So there's a really cool comic book shop in there. So I went in there and because it's Jurassic Park, I got this, my Ian Malcolm Funko Pop. The stupid light blocks him. There he is. There he is. There's my Ian Malcolm Funko Pop. So I got to find a little place to put him here on the set. So I'm really excited to grab this. And then hold on, hold on. While we were leaving, they gave us goodie bags after the movie. And look at this. Jurassic Park. Look at that poster. Eh, can you see it? Can you see the whole thing? I think you can. I just think this is the coolest thing ever. And what's really cool, like this, I wish you could feel this material because it's not like a glossy poster that I'll put back there and it will reflect my lights and just look like a giant whited out thing. So I really appreciate that for my set. But if you were to feel this material, it's, it's really kind of a cool material that they made this poster out of. But yeah, this is a really cool poster and I'm going to have to find a home for it up here on the wall. I got a lot of outdated posters up here and I think this is kind of a timeless poster. So I'm going to have to find an outdated one and replace it with this timeless one. If you have an idea where to put this on my set, let me know in the comments. So what did you think? Are you in the California area? Area. Are you in the state of California? And did you get to go to the 25th anniversary? If you did, let's talk about it in the comments. Or anything, like you love Jurassic Park, are you excited for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom? Let's talk about that in the comments. While you're there, hit the subscribe button to become a Durbanian. Hit the bell by the subscribe button so you're notified the next time I drop a video like this or a ranking video, a theological analysis, a movie review. Deadpool, I'm seeing that this week. Cannot wait to drop my Deadpool 2 trailer. Trailer. My Deadpool 2 review. Golly, like I have the authority to drop the trailer. Anyway, so looking forward to that this weekend. So hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss any of that. I'm Durbin. Thanks for checking out Durbania.